New York's classic rock, Q1043. Joel Hoekstra is with us from Trans-Siberian Orchestra. <laughs> All right. <laughs> also, also a member of White Snake. And, um, and then he has this great job every year, traveling around the country, entertaining people with this legendary show uh, that we at Q104.3 have been happy uh, to have been associated with now for, for quite some time. For it's years, a tradition actually. now. Now, uh, this year's tour is called The Ghosts of Christmas Eve, The Best of TSO and More. And this is an, a stage adaptation of a television Correct. production that TSO founder, the wonderful late Paul O'Neill, uh, produced actually in, in Newark or Jersey City. Back years ago. Yeah, somewhere in Jersey, like, yeah, right about 2000, I believe, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah it, was a, it was a special Christmas, you know, TV thing that he put together. And so this will be the first time that uh, this production will take place on stage, I believe. It's not going to be the first time, but it did it did immensely well in the past years when, when it, uh, it, it did take place. So I think it's, uh, you know... More of a back by popular demand kind of thing, uh, but with new parts to it and stuff. Always, I mean, those I mean, that haven't this seen is a TSA, new adaptation, the, this is... the front half. So there's always different production elements and yes. things like that. But the, those that haven't seen TSO, the front half is always one of the Christmas stories, and so that's what you get. And then the second half is ba- for, I guess, uh, lack of a better term, it's just a free for all. You know, you get like a gigantic production spectacle and a rock show that's second to none. And a portion of the proceeds, of course, this year, again, will benefit God's love we deliver. Uh, Trans-Siberian Orchestra has raised a real fortune for charitable organizations. Yeah, I think I just I spoke with Adam because I wasn't sure where the figure stands these days, but I think we're over seventeen million dollars um, yeah, allocated to local charities um, wow. while we tour, and uh, that's that's you know something that obviously speaks to Paul O'Neill, the aforementioned uh, late great Paul O'Neill. Um, you know, he's a very very generous cat and had a wonderful heart, and so um, if you buy a ticket, you're helping your local. Um, community become a better place as we tour and that's something that we like to hang our hats on man not only do i get to go out and play music that i love with my best friends and celebrate this wonderful tradition but uh, hopefully make these communities uh, a better place as we pass through well you as a uh, musician a recording artist and as a touring musician have had some really incredible experiences in your life uh working uh you know as as a member of some big bands and also uh, as a touring musician with some great solo performers. Yet, year after year after year, you've got that calendar blocked off (laughs) for TSO because I know you love it. When do they give you notice that it's back on (laughs) or is it just assumed at this point? Well, you know, I never like to count the chickens before they're hatched. When I speak with Adam every year, I say, you know, you guys having me back this year? <laughs> I'd like to check in. I don't like to assume, you know, the old adage with that. Uh, so, yeah, I, I definitely check in out of respect. I don't like to just uh, count this as something that um, I deserve. But it's something it, it, you look forward to every year. Big time. It's an honor to do TSO, man, for any musician. It's a phenomenal experience to be out um, playing uh, two arena shows a day. Um, like I said, playing with great musicians. The level of talent in this band is stupid. I mean, if you go across the board and look at some of these musicians that are in this group, you know, you've got some of the best rock musicians out there today and um, I think there's a reason that a lot of them are finding Trans-Siberian Orchestra as their home while a lot of these touring acts age and go into decline TSO has actually been on an upward trajectory and uh, continues to be um, an amazing uh, tradition and I think there's a bright future for it so it's for me it's really exciting to be a part of and you know selfishly I just I love to play rock guitar I love to play music and just to be out and to have an opportunity like this with something um, with Trans-Siberian Orchestra such a great team great great talent in the band but great people you know like management we adam is here with us today you know the these guys are amazing people and um they do a great job getting this out there and um yeah i just proud to be a part of the team don't you tour with share 
I worked with Cher for a few years there. So it was like David Coverdale was having knee surgery, and I said, hey, is there anybody who needs a fill-in? And I was supposed to do about three shows with her, and that turned into like three years because um, she was uh, she she liked what I was doing. And um, so that was a really nice thing. Now, come 2020, now we know none of us knew COVID was going to be what it became at the time. I think I was available for about 20% of her shows. So that at that point, they were like, okay, so we love you and everything like that. But dude, you know, showing up one fifth of the time isn't going to really cut it. So does she try to outplank everybody? Because she brags about, I can do a five minute plank. Uh, yeah. I mean, I think she's legit, you know, with all that. She's very dedicated and very professional. Um, and uh, there, there's a reason that she's been as successful as she has and been around uh, the music industry for as long as she has. She's been extremely dedicated, professional. Um, I got nothing but good things to say about my time there. And, you know, you never know. I might be uh, head out and fill in at some point or something like that on some shows there. There's still a good relationship there. Am I the only person who just heard that conversation? <laughs> and I don't have, I have to, I haven't a faintest clue what you. the hell a plank is. I'll show you. Oh, I'll show you. A plank is a piece oh, of she, wood. Oh, man. she's going in. She's going What's in. It's a plank. It's, 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 so it strengthens your core. It's on the floor. Now you can do the straight arm like that. You can yeah. do the bent arm and rest on the elbows. You can do this. Okay, this is the radio, Shelly. Nobody can see. But you can see me. And I can see can your butts up in the air. <laughs> <laughs> she can do it for five minutes. Okay, five that's minutes good. Straight. All right, you've done it for about 20 seconds. Now get up and go I back know, and sit down. Oh that's a five-minute plank. plank is extremely difficult. <laughs> I, I To do a, a bent arm plank, I was my daily there for about the eight years I was doing planks on a daily basis. I was like a, you know, really grind my way through to a three-minute. It's, it's difficult. That's awesome. Five, five minutes Joel. serious, man. Wow. Do you know that... Uh, Billboard magazine, you know, they keep track of tours all around the world. Mm -hmm. And they may not immediately come to mind when you think about the top touring acts on this planet. But TSO is on that list. I believe it. We are indeed. I don't know the figures, but I see it every year, you know, with Polestar and, and Billboard and everything that. Um, and again, it's something that I'm proud to be a part of. I think that there's a collective mentality with Trans-Siberian Orchestra where you've got a lot of individual talents that come together, but we all kind of set aside our individual goals for um, what I like to just call the show. You hear that a lot in rehearsals. We talk about the show. It's all about the show and, and just giving people the very best possible show that they can experience. And uh, we all kind of set aside our individual, um, you know, egos and wants and needs and things like that to make this show everything it can be. And there's something beautiful about that and, and taking it out and um, really just trying to leave people feeling like, hold, that's the you know, that's the best thing I've ever seen for my hard earned money in my life. And I think there's a reason that we've been around as long as we've had. And so many people have made us their holiday tradition. Um, you bring so much joy. I mean, it's just a joyful show. It really is. It's super cool. I mean, those that haven't seen it now, this is like I every time I say this, it sounds like the most cliche thing in the world. But there's something in it for everybody. You'll look out and you'll see families three generations deep. You know, you'll see the grandparents with the parents with the, the grandkids and nobody looks like they're being held hostage. They all have smiles on their faces, which is like the most unusual thing in the world. When's the last time you've seen that? Usually you see the kids like dying to get out of there or whatever. And it's but it's everybody's there's something in this show for everybody to come and enjoy so those that haven't been i would advise you to come on out it is uh, you guys know it's something that's very hard to describe or like summarize in about five seconds uh, it's a very unique um, production but um give us a shot it's a great year to come out and do it you know you got the um the greatest hits essentially is what we're talking about i mean it's our our most popular songs and it's a very um clean concise show and um the production is amazing if you, if, you, if you haven't seen the show, the production's worth the, the ticket price alone just to come in and look at the laser light show and the pyro and all and the lifts. And they're and, doing it in association with your husband's favorite TV channel, the Hallmark Channel. <laughs> now, well, here's my the, husband is crazy here's the in, Here's the info, okay? Okay. Uh, there will be two shows on Tuesday, December 27th. Uh, 3 o'clock in the afternoon is the matinee, then 7.30 p.m. Prudential Center, 
Yeah, babe. Okay, it's Prudential Center in Newark. Now, the pre-sale is Thursday, September 15th from 10 o'clock in the morning until 11.59 at night, and there's a special code, Q1043. Uh, The tickets go on sale to the general public on Friday, September 16th at 10 a.m., and tickets are available at Ticketmaster.com. But that's not all. There will be specially priced tickets offered for one week only when the tickets go on sale. Yeah. Now get this. It's you're talking about a full fledged arena rock show big production, right? Right. Twenty nine dollar tickets. Oh my God. Now that's That's for, a steal. That's that's uh, for one week only when the uh, public tickets go on sale Friday, September sixteenth, ten AM. And then we've got our Q sale our Q pre sale Thursday, September fifteenth at ten AM. Yeah, I think, you know, that's something that still ties back to Paul O'Neill and the O'Neill, the O'Neill family, just being so supportive of our diehard fan base and trying to avoid the Ticketmaster gold circle and things of that nature where the people are paying, you know, 2500 bucks to sit in the front row. We try and make it available that our best fans, our diehard fans, are the ones sitting in the front row. The people that have been coming every year and trying to keep the tickets affordable for everybody. and uh, Especially listen, since it's a family event, because yeah. this is one of those situations where you're not buying two tickets. Tickets. You may be buying four tickets or five tickets. Right. You know. Yeah. I think, you know, for as gigantic a show as it is, and obviously we draw a lot of people, and you mentioned the numbers earlier um, from Billboard and whatnot, you know, listen, most of that is reinvested in trying to deliver a quality product for people that they walk away with, with, you know, with no regrets and have their jaws on the floor and can't believe what they've just seen. So that's uh, the dedication of Paul O'Neill. And, uh, you know, we try and carry that through to today and in his spirit and make him proud. Um, This is something that he envisioned carrying on uh, for a long time. And and we're doing our very best to make that happen. And remember, a portion of the proceeds benefit God's love. We deliver. Joel Hoekstra is with us from TSO. We'll be right back. New York's Classic Rock, Q1043.